Hello again. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, one of the decks from my battle against Korra, and that is the Summoner. Every card in here, one way or another, has to do with summoning minions. So, let's take a look at what we've got. A couple of mirror images, some of you some early taunts. Haunted Creeper, Summon some Spiders, Nerubian Eggs, Summon some Nerubian. Pint Size Summoner doesn't actually summon anything itself, but I think it works quite nicely with the theme. Effigy, Summon around a Minion. Mirror Entity, Summon a copy of the other guy's thing. Spellbender, Summon a 1-3. Harvest Golem, Summon a 2-1. Imp Master, summon imps. Razorfen Hunter, summon the boars. Silverhand Regent, summon some one ones. Dragonling Mechanic, piloted shredder. Fugan, Silverhand Knight, couple of sludge belchers, and Starlug. And just. Oh, go away. Just looking through the various classes, I mean, you could do this with a hunter, I suppose, and put Scenarius and Dark Whispers. Force of Nature works quite nicely with the theme. Hunter, you can see there, there's a few summons. Really, the mage doesn't have that many compared to some of the other classes, but I just figure it... Um, Works better for a theme of mage summoning. Paladin, uh, muster for battle. You've got your Murloc Knights, no sacrifice. Priest, I suppose the obvious thing is to build this around the Confessor, but. Hey ho. Um, Rogue, you've got your good old Defias Ringleaders. Beneath the ground, you could throw an Uberak in there. A uh, shaman. I don't know if ancestral theme would, ancestral spirit would necessarily match the theme, but you've got your feral spirit and your tusker there. A uh, warlock. You've got your dread steeds. Your bane of doom. Summon portal, and implosion. And obviously, you've got a nice number of neutral cards. Tidecaller doesn't really work so there aren't any other Murlocs. Knife Juggler doesn't so much summon himself. Um, I did have the Violet Teachers in here, but given the lack of spells, it seems a bit of a waste of a card. You could Leroy, although obviously that's more summoning for the other side. Cairns Death Rattle would be quite nice here. Good old Gelbin, Hogger, Illidan, Kodo Rider. I mean, a lot of these would be quite good. Maybe not the Beast, but hey ho. So, yes, given the cards that I've got, this is what I've put together. And apart from Cora, I have actually beat a couple of other people with this as well. So, um, let's take it on the ladder and see how we do. Jaina versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! You asked for it. Uh, toss those. Coin Haunted Creeper isn't brilliant, but it is at least a play. And depending on what sort of warlock this is, I might just want a creature on the field. Why do you call? Then if he runs the Void Walker into it, we ping it and run that in for lack of a better turn to play. Of course, it's Mortal Coil. Well, I suppose we still ping and clear his board.
Is it a zoo, Han? Warlock. Mind if I roll need? I'm getting a distinct zoo feeling here, which um, we don't necessarily do that brilliantly against. I think the best response we have to a zoo is to um, just get more bodies on the field. I don't really like giving him a card, but I really don't like him having two more damage on the field, so lesser of two evils there. And he's drawing. That's somewhat surprising. With I suppose he does get the health back. All right, how do we want to do this? I was thinking piloted shredder, but considering I was going to play the two taunts, it um, was less likely to get triggered. Or, you know, he could do that. <laughs> That really is my own fault, isn't it? Hey ho! Right, well. Let's drop you. Pin you. And go face. In theory, next turn I could ping and then run that into it. Not a brilliant result from the Shredder, but I've had worse. Don't really have a good answer to his Infernal now. I don't really want to pay... English. I don't really want to play the knight because he'll immediately um, I get wonder. killed. Let's go with the golem. Job done. I suppose what I could have done is got a silver knight and then pick it, but... Oh, arse. Oh, arse. <laughs> And that's probably game, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have an answer to this. Hey ho. By the way, I've got a spare deck slot at the moment that I can't think of anything good to put in it, so um if anyone has any suggestions for um, decks they think might be interesting, leave a comment either on the Facebook page or in the comments of this video. Can't promise I'll do it, but if it sounds interesting enough, okay. I'll give it a go. Versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. You asked for it. Ooh, I want to keep Starlick and Fugan for the combo, but that's bad. Okay, not brilliant, but a little better. I probably should have tossed the race of Ed Hunter as well. Well, have an egg. Job done. Oh, face hunter, get a face. Get in there! 
Because why would you do anything else as a hunter? See, this deck doesn't really have many taunts in it, or other good answers to early aggression. I did play a face hunter the other day and was quite glad when I managed to outface him. Three, four, five, six, eight. We are still alive. No, we're not. You win. Oh, face hunter, get a face. As is always the case, I was winning some matches with this deck until I decided to record it, and now... Gina versus Rexa. All we're going to run into is kind of high aggression, rush, and other decks that we have absolutely no answer to. We can start a fire though. Have a spider. That's interesting. I would have expected if this was another face hunter that they'd have had something by now. Maybe this is someone... I was going to say maybe this is someone playing an interesting hunter deck and then he goes and does that. Wondering what he's got in his hand that it wasn't until turn three he's got a play. But yes, the plan here is obviously to hit my face and hope that kills me. This is why I often end up in casual rather than in ranked. You do get more interesting deck variety there. That's not really what I wanted. Not that I imagine he's got any high cost minions. And in fact that was a really stupid thing to do because I'm not going to have any room for another minion, am I? But hey ho, I'm bored of this match now. Oh, it doesn't trigger if I can't use it. That's useful information. Right, so two, three, four, five. Gives him two, two, twos. We run those two into one of them, those two into the other. Hmm. Or do we just take a page out of his book and go face? I mean, that's what? Nine damage? 
Let's see if we can outface the face hunter. So you've got six, eight. Have you got ten damage? Close, but no cigar, my friend. Well, there you go, we outfaced the face hunter. That's, um, that's something. And we learned that um, Mirror Entity doesn't trigger on a full board. Most of you watching probably already knew that, but I didn't. That is one of the problems occasionally with this deck. You do just fill your boards with absolute shite that you then can't get shot of. Toss effigy, keep the harvest golem. The odds of getting a turn one play are fairly slim. Maybe this is just me, but I do find these kind of decks rather dull. You know, what's the point of just playing Face Hunter or Zoo Warlock or. So I suppose my Deathlock deck that you'll probably see in the later video is a um, fairly obvious one as well in its own way, but still I like to think it's a nice variant on the theme. Thank you, I'll take my 4-4. Four four. Whereas something like this is just, I'm going to put in all the stuff to try and rush you down without any thought, and it does get boring occasionally. Da 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 Maybe I should go back to recording these on casual. Might make for better viewing. So, you into you. Ping. Yeah. I thought that was probably another explosive trap, but yeah, there are worse things he could have sniped. And you're still seriously going face. You have no originality whatsoever, sir. It's not his other snipe. That probably means it's his other explosive trap, doesn't it? Job done. Yep, explosive trap. Hey ho. I could have played Mirror Entity there, but I doubt he's got anything worth stealing. This is where he now draws. To my side. Well, I suppose he can't King Crush me just yet, but something of that ilk. Uh, let's play it now. Get this wire on board. 
and we can hit face, so it's not a great deal of point hitting Leoc just yet, especially when he can run into it next turn. Three, five, seven. Well, thank you for the knife juggler, I suppose. And that's probably game, isn't it? Effigy, you are not what I needed to see here. If I... Uh, uh, if you insist. What the hell? Yeah. If you're going to be boring enough to just play face hunter. Uh, you could at least put up with a little bit of BM before I can see it. I am not a morning person. My apologies. At least these do make for quick matches, I suppose. If people actually played intelligent decks, this um, might be a game that takes time, as it is you can just run through a couple of dozen of matches like that and not really waste any time at all. Ooh, warrior. What kind of warrior are we playing today? What we got, eh? What we got? I'm going to use my telescope to look at you. Fear my telescope, it will show me all the information. Are you gonna kill my little. That was rude of you. Oops. Now I will see a broken copy of your hand. Ha ha ha. Speak to me. Don't really want you drawing off that acolyte, but I've not got a good way to stop you doing it. Really? Okay. There's not really much point playing anything here, because he's going to swing at me with that. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. So, we'll put down a mirror entity, in case he's going to clear the board for something impressive to come out. A fight count me. Ooh! Fight count Hello! Me. Now he's probably going to swing at that, obviously, but... I'm not sure I've got a great answer to a grim patron play, but let's see what we can come up with. It's at least mildly more entertaining than um, fucking Face Hunter. So he runs one of the three threes in. I can then take out the three two with the damaged golem. Okay, what you got Armor then? Made to fit. Well, I suppose you're not exactly running short on them. Oh, that's what you're gonna Everyone, do. Get in here. Everyone, get in here. 
But surely you still could have kept the three two alive and um, got another one out of it. Missed value, I say. Yeah, we're probably dead, but this is mildly entertaining. So let's see how long we can keep it up for. I'm not sure I quite understand the way he's choosing to trade those, but... Hello, Fugan. You might, um... Get some value. That probably means that whatever you're holding in your hand is quite painful. That's one way to get rid of Fugue, I suppose. But so yeah, we're dead. I suppose he wanted to show off his patron some more rather than hit my face with that, but hey ho. Can we end the video on a win, I wonder? Join us later in hour six of the video where um, we're still looking for that win. Jaina versus Valera. Watch your back. You asked for it. What's the rogue got? Probably better than this. <laughs> hey ho. Never know, we might top deck something useful. Oh, it's a gold rogue. It's a gold rogue that's going to take its time. Mech broke, okay. One of these days, I'll find a way to rotate this and kill that blimp. If you control a mech, get a mech. Not necessarily your first choice preference, I suppose, but... It kept his uh, mech warper out of harm's way. Ooh, P 
pit snake. Have a big scary starlight to look at. Ooh, another pit snake. And we're just gonna go face because we know we didn't you in this position, I suppose. Okay, so ping that, Starlight into that. Piloted Shredder into that. Ooh, Mana Wraith, you are really not what I wanted at all. <laughs> so he's got four damage on board. Odds are I'm not dead this turn, but I probably am the one after. So, for what difference it makes, we can clear his board. Sludge belt would be nice about now. Question is, what other damage we got? Well, that's quite annoying. Okay, so how do we kill the Yeti? We ping that, run you into that, you into that, you into that. Uh, whirling Blades, really not what I was looking for here. What would have been nice is that one that gives you Torn. Is it the Horn? I can't remember, because that might actually have been some use here. As it is, we're now um, a couple of turns away. That's what I wanted, the rusty horn. Right, so... Duh! 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 Uh, if you <laughs> There's not really much point playing anything else there, because any of these would have spawned two creatures, and then me um, Imp Master would be a bit pointless. Sludge Belcher? You are not Sludge Belcher. Well played. You win. There's not really a good way to get any more taunt in this deck while keeping the um, summoning theme, is there? That was an interesting little mech rogue, though. Slightly wonder if it's a bot because of the gold um, and the um, slightly deliberate um, movement speed there, but you asked for it. Oh, it is on. Mirror image. That's me at the taunt, isn't it? And we couldn't draw that either. Oh, <laughs> can't they show me the mech mage?
I do like that car back. I was using that one for quite a while, but um, decided it was time for something a bit different, and the um, theme on this one's quite nice. Hello? Right, so not touching cards. Has he gone to sleep? No, he is still here. We're going to bang the gong at you anyway to get your attention. We're then going to play our little um, pint sized summoner. I did think about crafting a second one to go in this deck. But realistically, how many creatures do you have that you're going to have any real um, difficulty summoning? I mean, your fives are probably some of your biggest hitters. Hello? Don't make me bang the gong at you. What to do? Right, so what secrets can we test for? It's not ice. It's not a counter spell. It's a mirror entity. Ooh, golden egg. I generally disenchant most golden cards I get just because while they do look nice I'd rather have the dust for um, other things. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Okay, this board is starting to get a little silly. But we can't necessarily do a great deal about it. What are the odds he's got a good five drop? Let's go in master instead. Odds are I'm going to be running the spiders in next turn anyway, so we'll um. Thin out the ranks a little bit, have some more space for um, probably Sludge Belch as my best turn 5. Unless for some reason he doesn't play anything now, in which case maybe go Silver Hand and Ping. Oh, my little nymph. That could very easily be another mirror entity, couldn't it? On the other hand, if you copy my Starlog, you probably don't have a Fugin in the deck. On the other hand, do I really want to give you that? Hmm. Well met. It wasn't a mirror entity, that was all redundant. Now, have I just given him his other bin mirror entity? Does make me wonder what that other one is, though. Hmm. Could be ice. Could be a counter spell. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Well, there's the counter spell. There's the second mirror entity. Oh, and 
there's a duplicate. Another couple of mad scientists, but the way he's burning through secrets at the moment, there won't be that many more for it to um, pull out. Ooh, you used it up your polymorph. Well, given that he's now used both mirror entities under polymorph, I think it's time for Star Mode. I'm kind of glad he just did that because otherwise he probably would have polymorph. Or, you know, being a mage who could just flame strike it. But it's okay because we have a sludge belt in the show. Job done. Well, that's his other counter spell gone. And his other polymorph now. I think I'd rather he ran his mad scientists into my second sludge belcher. Another flame strike. Well, okay, have a murloc. You're going to trigger that, okay. So if he pings the egg again, we can either run the piloted shredder into it, or ping and run the stomper into it. You're going to trade that for that. Gives me Argent Watchman. Okay. Oh. I really don't have a good answer to an art to a fucking Archmage. Um, hmm. nine. Oh, three. I think our only real chance here is to try and rush him down now. And we probably still lose because now show me the fireball that's already in hand. Or a blizzard, or you know, any other spell that a reasonable mage would be running. Flame Lance, not what I expected, but I suppose it gets the combo rolling, doesn't it? Oh, and now the sodded effigy comes out. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's game there. Oh, there you go. That's the um, Summoner Mage. It's not brilliant, but it has been known to um, win the odd game here and there. Join us again soon when I'm sure I'll have another interesting deck for you to... Um, See how bad I'm playing it, but for now, ta-ta.